What's going on squad? Alleged Gaming here and today I am playing GTA 5 online with my buddy SZ. Say what is good, brother. What is good? <laughs> yeah. Anyway oh guys, God. a lot of people have been asking me, how the fuck do I properly double clutch on GTA 5 online? So as you guys can see, I got the GoPro hooked up to my head and I've got the controller right in front in POV perspective. That's that point of view shit. So you guys are going to learn today how you properly double clutch on GTA 5 online. Alright guys, here me and SZ are going to do the first attempt with the two Banshees. This car is rear wheel drive. And then we'll be doing an all wheel drive car as well as a front wheel drive car. And there we go, there's the switch. And I'm gone. Alright guys, so just as you're about to switch into third gear from second, you're going to do the double clutch method. All you got to do is basically listen to the vehicle when it happens. And then it's all it all takes time from there. You'll get used to it. Here we go. Launch. And double clutch. There we go. There we go. As you can see, I'm a nice little car length ahead of SZ, which is always good for drag races and stuff like that. You can always kill your opponent a lot easier. This is the Karuma, which is an all-wheel drive vehicle, and I'm going to show you how to double clutch in an all-wheel drive car. And the last car we did was rear-wheel drive, and there's a different method for each kind of car. So for the all-wheel drive, you basically, when you're about to switch into third gear, you hit L2 and R1 at the same time and then pump R2 out. When doing it in rear wheel drive you guys have to technically hit L2 then R1 then hit R2. So there's a different method for this guys. So I'm going to show you an example right here. Here we go. There we go guys caught it. That's your double clutch for an all wheel drive car. Shout out to SZ for coming out the customs in a Freaking gold to see ya. <laughs> God damn, Lester would be proud. But this car is front wheel drive, guys. And now I'm going to show you how to double clutch in a front wheel drive vehicle. Okay, guys. The only difference between double clutching in a front wheel drive car is that you need to do it just a little bit harder than how you did with the all wheel drive car. So L2 and R1 has to be hit a little bit harder. And then you have to slam down on R2. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Like I said earlier, you guys need to take note and you guys need to practice with it because it's it's difficult. Front wheel drive cars are difficult. It's it's way harder than an all wheel drive car, but an all wheel drive car does have its advantages. But the best way to do this double clutch method will always be with the rear wheel drive vehicle. It's always the easiest. It's you're more than likely to get it quicker than, you know, as if you were doing front wheel drive for damn sure. Here we go. <laughs> There we go. Oh, yeah. A little bit of boost. Woot, woot. Oh, we're out of here. That's it. Yeah, the top speed's like 100. <laughs> this thing is actually badass. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to double clutch, aka boost glitch, with a rear wheel drive vehicle, an all wheel drive vehicle, and a front wheel drive vehicle as well. My name is Alleged Gaming. Thank you, SZ, for helping out. And we're out of this. Peace out, AG Squad. Really, Ezzy? <laughs> yeah.